What's up guys, Tommy and Ryan here from the Beef and Bow Benefit Show. It's, sh shut up. No, I like what my friend Ryan said, we are not on benefits, we bought all this food ourselves. Yeah, well, yeah, because obviously I ain't got a lot of money, have I? Have I? You know? Exactly. I've only got like 10 quid or something. But anyway guys, we're back in the kitchen cooking. As you all know, I have a GCSE in catering, which means I'm a very experienced and professional chef. No, I know all there is... Yeah, well, <laughs> I know all there is to know about cooking. And my friend Ryan, he's loved cooking his whole life. No. And there, there was actually rumour he might get a job in the Ritz as a chef. No, I Can't you just... You lie to the benefits people. Can't you lie now? <laughs> I don't even know how to cook. No, we, well, that is not a bad thing because today I am going to show you I am going to cook you what I have come to call a Ryan sandwich because I think you're really going to enjoy it. So if you want no, the recipe, right. if you want the recipe for this video, guys, just watch the whole video from beginning to end, and you will know how to make. Let's get our toilet. <laughs> <laughs> just go. Leave the kitchen. Oh, I'll be gone. Yeah, good. Yeah. Leave the kitchen. Right. So by the end of this video, you will know how to cook the perfect sandwich. Ryan, I need some help cooking the sandwich. Now step one, the first thing you have to do when cooking the Ryan sandwich is you need to get some cooking chocolate. Not any cheap shit, some proper cooking chocolate. Now most people like to um, cut this up, but you don't. Come on, man. <laughs> I'm trying. I didn't realise that this was stuck. What the heck? Hey, there we are. Who forced it? <laughs> Strong man. Yeah, be the strongest man in the world. Now most people want to cut this stuff up, but actually that's where you go wrong. You're not supposed to cut it up. What you need to do is you need to put your hob on. I have one of these electric hobs because I'm just like loaded. Take your fucking time, won't you? And what you want to do is just tip it in there, like that. Ta-da! That clock, I'm going to kill that fucking clock. Okay, so um, th this actually weren't planned, but you need to make sure you put the right hob on because we've been standing there for the past five minutes wondering why <laughs> the chocolate the biggest chef in, in the world right here. I'm trying my best. So anyway, put okay. the wrong fucking hob on. Remember to put the correct hob on. And now that chocolate is cooking really well. See that it's just clicked on. Wow, it just melts. That's what chocolate does, you dim fuck. You need to come closer, you need to get it in the side. Right, so, oh, oh my, je Jesus We're Christ. Just... Whoa! Okay. That's... Okay. <laughs> what the fuck? Smoke, smoke your chocolate. Okay, oh. that was a bad idea, sorry. Oh, je oh my God. I don't know. Is it my fault that the chocolate burnt? Well, I didn't realise when you put chocolate on the hob that it would burn that quickly. I mean, it was on setting nine, so that's the highest it can go. So, you know what, I learned from it, but Ryan weren't much help, to be honest. I think he's just, I mean, he's there, he's eye candy, isn't he? I mean, that's the only reason he's there. He don't add much in terms of professionalism or technical know-how, because he didn't do GCSE catering, did he? Right, so guys, I just want to make a public apology to Ryan because <coughs> I didn't realise that there was going to be as much smoke as there was. So we decided to do chocolate it. smoke. <laughs> Neither did I. I didn't know chocolate could burn, but obviously it can. So we decided to do it a bit different. So if you look at this pot, you'll see that I've cut up some dark chocolate. And what we're going to do is we're going to put nice. it on the hob. We're going to put it on a low... Temperature <clears throat> and just wait for it to cook. We'll tell you when it's done, guys. 
Hopefully you won't smoke. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, so guys, we have melted the chocolate. It looks delish. And what we need to do now is pour it on the bread. So. It's taking its time. <laughs> it is. Um, oh. Now I'm only going to put this on one side of the bread. Doesn't that look appetizing? <laughs> it's vile. I'm sorry. This is actually, chocolate is one of the healthiest forms of confectionery. <coughs> out there. And dark chocolate is also incredibly healthy because <coughs> it contains no sugar. None whatsoever. So... <laughs> God, this looks sick, don't it? I mean that in a good way. It's like, you shit. <laughs> <laughs> don't say that, it's not shit. It's not shit. I think you've been to a toilet and no toilet paper in the toilet. So, <laughs> so I just wiped it on bread. <laughs> you just oh, wiped it on come bread. Oh, you're making it, you're making it seedy. And it's not supposed to be. It's supposed to be a good time. But spreading chocolate on bread. <laughs> bread. It's better than nothing. Anyway, now that this is done, it's time to get the other ingredients ready. So, now that step one is complete, we move on to step two, which is adding the other ingredients. Now, we have a green bowl. Which is, do you like the colour green? I don't mind it. Yeah, thanks for showing enthusiasm, it means a lot. Anyway though, you need to mix all of these ingredients in a mixing bowl first. Because if you just put it all on the sandwich, it's going to taste disgusting. It all needs mixing. It will taste disgusting. Shut up, you fucker. <laughs> so anyway, I'm going to ask Ryan, my beautiful assistant, to pass me the ingredients. So, firstly, we need custard. Why custard? Custard is very good. It's a good source of nutrients, and this is Ambrose banana flavored custard. I did look Stop. for chocolate, but there wasn't any in stock. <laughs> Smell those bananas. Why custard? Okay, let's pick the bowl. <laughs> oh, it's nice to be here. So now that we've done that, rice pudding. Rice pudding. White rice pudding. Once again, and the same rice pudding. Rice pudding. <laughs> it's nice, rice pudding is nice. Now I'm actually going to get a spoon out for this one. I don't need a spoon. I do because I need to get it into the pot. What are you gonna what? <laughs> this looks lovely, it looks inviting. It looks awesome. Now this is of course this is all full fat stuff because you don't wanna cheap out on getting low calorie stuff because it just will not work the same way. It won't work in the first place. Right. We need sherbet next. I'll keep this, not put that in there. No. Why not? Because it goes in there. And plus no effects. You look like you might not need loads of sugar. That's no, nice in the time. How oh, do you Enjoying this so far. This is like really cutting edge oh. stuff. Really is. <laughs> now Ryan has left the room for a couple of minutes. He weren't feeling very well, so I thought I'd add the uh, uh, other ingredients up close. So first off, we have some white chocolate chips. We have some marshmallows. And last but not least. Some broken up biscuits. <laughs> the pizza just went all over me. Literally all over me. And that is what you're left with. What you need to do is whip it. 
And what you need to do is you then need to mix it up because it needs to look really inviting. Doesn't that look nice? <laughs> right? Well, well, Ryan obviously doesn't know what good food is. It doesn't look like shit, it looks like sick, thank you very much. <laughs> and now you need to add the filling. So I've decided to call this kind of sauce MLC sauce after my good friend MLC. So anyway. It's a, uh, it's a bit meaty as a sandwich, I have to admit. It's a bit meaty. I will give it that. But it contains all nice things. I mean, you eat all these things separately, so you should be able to eat them together. That is all I'm saying. Oh, what'd you say to that? It's like puke just wrapped in with shit. <laughs> and got from the toilet. <laughs> You're so down, you know what, we wouldn't have won wars with your attitude. You How know, hell was this winning wars? Because it's all about compromise. You know, what I've done there is made something really nice. And yet I still can't seem to get a restaurant going. So anyway, now that is done, that is step two complete. We move on to stage three after the break. Well. Nothing really to say really, because uh, it looks like shit. It's like someone has no toilet paper in a toilet and finding the softest thing possible in the kitchen. And it's wiped it on in the ass. <laughs> it's stupid, but it's fun. Now that that's out of the way, step three involves something in the freezer. Some ice cream. Because let me tell you now, this will make it go down a tree. Okay, so you need to open your ice cream. Ice cream spoon, I don't unfortunately. A nice dollop of ice cream. And then the end of stage three, the bread goes on. So guys, this will be the end result. The Ryan sandwich or the all-in-one sandwich. Now, the last thing you do is push it down. And here we have the Ryan sandwich. It contains a I whole put my name on it. Because it, it reminds me a lot of you. The ingredients suggest that it shouldn't work, but it does. It doesn't. And now, oh. it's time. What, you expect me and you to eat this? Well, that's what it was made for. This is lunch. Don't think you're getting anything else. Fuck that. I'll eat, I'll starve. <laughs> I'd rather starve than eat this shit. Do you know what? You only live once. I'm going to try and eat this, and I'm going to enjoy it. Uh. 
I think we should order a takeaway. We agree. But now. Yes, agree. That's vile, absolutely vile. I've never eaten anything <laughs> bad. I'm the best. Look, I love my voice. Look, Ryan, come on. Oh, come on. MLC? Yeah, um, how would you like a sandwich? I'm sorry, no, I can't do it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. oh my god. We're never gonna make that again. <laughs> Alright? We're never making that again. Can't. <laughs>